This is Park 80 K76 here once again, and I'm gonna show some four of these games in our CD-ROM interactive computer. Well, I haven't done a lot before. They're, they made just uh, I uploaded just three of these videos that I been created as a uh, yesterday. So uh, I've checked everything we already expected. So everything's fine. With since uh, uh, last Saturday, I created my own one and um. I'm glad you finally got it. So there it goes. First thing we uh, that I end this end this up is Puzzle City, addictive mix city building arcade puzzle action, and this is a PC CD-ROM, and this company called E Games. Well, it's very hard to find, but. Uh, that are selling on Marshall so for about four bucks and this is a a great game especially for the entertaining has a a great game at, as well here's the front the spine the spine and the back consult construct the perfect city in a challenge mix of city building and puzzle arcade action it says build your dream city and this company called E Games and Tech Front. This is from 2000, and this is a, a a great way to build your games. Here's the actual front, the spine, in the back. Same thing. Here's the disc, and there's no guide. For this PC CD ROM game. This is a really interesting game that I ever expected. It is great to, since I haven't seen this game before. Next up is uh, Mysteryville 2. I thought it was the, the first sequel for Mysteryville. This is a picture of a woman there with a crystal ball. And this is a company called iWin.com and Neville's soft. 22 spellbinding locations. Brain uh, binding. Brain bending sequel to the best seller. And undiscovered secrets of Mysteryville. Here's the front. The spine. The spine. And the back. Now what. Now what has happened in Mysteryville. After solving a cat. Caper of Mysteryville. Feature all the game levels there. I do most of this thing ever. And I never played like this before. This is a great game also. Dig deep into the city. It helps Laura undiscovered clues to the scenes of Mysteryville 2. There's a choir to a CD-ROM. As well as um, Windows 2000 XP. And up higher versions. Also, the company called Softville, iWin.com, and 21 Rocks. Here's what the disc looks like. Oh, there's no art cover one there, so it's not actually, not actually there. And here's the disc looks like. Oh, there's no PC guy here. Sorry for, um, there you go. This le next PC CD-ROM is Master Blast Math Blaster in Search of Spot. There's missing the, um, the CD, uh, artwork here. Here's the front. Here's the spine. And here's the back. Episode 1. In its company called Division. I'll tell you what, there's uh, a review of this one. This is a great level of math, as well as some um, um, subtract, uh, add, subtract, and uh, multiplication and division. This is a fun inter educational stories from these uh, from the CD-ROM, and, and and look at the creatures are in here, as well as the um, uh, uh, the astronaut boy and, and a creature of um, monster, and there's a tomato kid right there. This is this, uh, this is from 1984. I mean, this is from 1994. Windows. PC and Macintosh. Great game. 
And the last one I got is um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone CD-ROM. This is called EA Games. Here's the front. Here's the spine. And here's the back. Actions and control. You had to press uh, a key that you actually just move, jump, uh, aim spelling, and it cast a spell, and all that kind of things. This is a pretty interesting CD-ROM game. I played more. Well, sort of a difficult game, but it's really good. And here's the disc itself. There's the artwork of this game, the CD. And uh, sort of blank, but the artwork, it's not of a, appeared there, so quite expecting to do to do more things there so there are um that's it for my four of these uh CD ROMs games and I'll stay tuned for more and I'll talk to you soon